Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Amit Lunkar and in this video we discuss in detail about the structure activity relationship of muscarinic antagonist. Muscarinic antagonist drugs play a crucial role in blocking the action of acetylcholine at muscarinic receptors and affecting a wide range of biological processes. And because of blocking, it will produce a different actions like anti-spasmody, anti-secretory, and mydratic effect. So let's begin with the structure activity relationship of muscarinic antagonist. So the atropine, which is the prototype anticholinergic agent, provided the structural model that guided the design of synthetic muscarinic antagonist. So here is the structure of atropine and with this structure the atropine which is an alkaloid and there are the different synthetic muscarinic antagonists can be formed by considering the structure of this atropine the circle portion of the atropine molecule which depicts the segment resembling to that of acetylcholine uh, although the amine function uh, Although the amine functional group is separated from the ester oxygen by more than two carbons and this conformation assumed by tropin ring orient these two atoms in such a way that the intervening distance is similar to that of the acetylcholine and because of that it will be produced the antagonistic action. So there are the one differentiating point between the atropine and the acetylcholine is that the size of the acyl portion of the molecule and based on that size was a major factor in blocking action and many substituted acetic acid esters of amino alcohol were prepared and evaluated for the biological activity. Now let's begin with the different points of structural activity relationship of muscarinic antagonist and for that we are considering the this structure. So here there are the different substituents like R1, R2, R3, then X, then CH2N means which is a chain and the nitrogen. Let's begin with the first point. The R1 and R2 substituent should be a carbocyclic or a heterocyclic ring for maximum antagonistic potency and as these are the molecular groups which can be responsible to produce a van der Waal force of attraction with the receptor and because of that it forms a complex with the receptor. The ring may be identical. So this R1 and R2 ring may be identical but if they are a different ring then which are having a more potent. So potency get increased if these R1 and R2 are a different rings. So one ring is aromatic and other may be a saturated or possessing only one olefinic bond. Example like propanthaline. Their ability to do this effectively effectivity is because of a larger group of R1 and R2. And just now we have seen because of this larger group which enhance the binding to receptor since the antagonistics are larger than agonists. And this will be forms a very good complex with the receptor. Next one is the R3. This R3 substituent may be a hydrogen atom, hydroxyl group, hydroxymethyl group or a carboxamide or it may be a component of R1 and R2 ring system. So when the substituent is a hydroxyl group or a hydroxymethyl group, the antagonistic is usually more potent. And this is because the hydroxyl group presumably increases binding strength by participating in a hydrogen bond interaction at the receptor. So this is the reason that this formation of hydrogen bond will increase the interaction at the receptor that is it will increase the binding 
Next one is the X. The substituent X is the most potent anticholinergic agent is the is an ester. But an ester functional group is not absolutely necessary for showing the muscarinic antagonistic activity. And this substituent may be an ester oxygen or it may be absent completely. Next one is the N substituent which is a quaternary ammonium salt in the most potent anticholinergic agent. But tertiary amine also possesses antagonistic activity uh, because of binding to the receptor in the cationic form. The alkyl substitution is usually methyl group, ethyl group, propyl group or a isopropyl group. Now about the distance between the ring substituted carbon and amine nitrogen which is apparently not critical but the length of the alkyl chain connecting these may be the 2 to 4 carbons and the most potent anticholinergic agent has 2 methylene units in this chain. So here is the uh, N is 2 means here is the CH2 CH2 group is attached means chain length is 2 which use a more most potent anticholinergic agent. So here are the some examples of a muscarinic antagonist like cyclopentolate, then dicyclomine, glycopyrrolate and propanthylene. So all these are having a very very good muscarinic antagonist. And just now we have seen the general structure like R1, R2, R3, X, then this uh, length and nitrogen. So here it will be fulfilled all these like all these are having a bulkier group and one aromatic ring then this is the presence of a x is the oxygen atom then chain length is a two carbon and it having a tertiary amine so all these are about the structure structural activity relationship of muscarinic antagonist hope all of you getting this thank you happy learning